I mean, we've been coming here for a long time. I think eight years is what we determined. It's like our eight-year anniversary, you know, yeah, yeah. which is exciting. And the event years ago, you know, it was basically Friday night through Saturday. And now, you know, it kicked off yesterday with the Kids Fest. And it goes all weekend long. The guys are rolling in from all over the country. So it's just gotten bigger each and every year. <laughs> Partying at the mud hole. First time we come across a real live Viking. Viking Dave out here partying with us. Rock out. Right here, this is my buddy's leg here, Justin's leg on Facebook. You gotta look it up. We've taken it all over the whole entire country. You gotta have fun with it. You wanna see everybody come out here, be true patriots, see everybody mudding, having a good time, trucks going wild. Time to party like rock stars. That's what we do, right? Come out here, gonna have more fun. Das Boot. <laughs> <laughs> Bricks off road park, partying out here, having a good time with some friends that have been here before, hanging with them. Where are y'all from? St. Louis. St. Louis, okay. We flew into St. Louis, so not too far away. Then y'all have not been here before. No. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> not here. Not here. <laughs> we'll yeah. definitely be back. Hey, I, I gotta ask you, we'll first time here, what's your impression? I mean, what did you think it was gonna be, and then what are you seeing when you got here? It's definitely worth it. It, it is, is all the talk for it. sure. Okay. It's okay. so much fun. <laughs> the truck's gone wild! <laughs> Woo!
It's one of the things that makes Plant Bamboo different than any other venue that we go to. It's one of my favorite things. I'm talking about cows, baby. Everybody's having a blast watching, but I think you're having more fun than anybody else. Oh, you know else. it, you know it, buddy. Dude, we, it's for years now, been watching you, and it's like when you do this number, like you're tightening down, That's we it. know it's about to hit the fan, dude. That's it. So what, like, I mean, you just go out there and kill it? That's the plan, that's the plan. Where are you out of? Avon Port, Florida. Okay. I know we've been Sebring, seeing you. Sebring, Lake Placid, yeah. Yeah, because we usually see you at the South Florida yeah. events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that your favorite thing to do? Just oh, you know it, I love it, I love it. The landing. Oh, dude, I feel that in my gut. So one of the biggest groups out here this weekend is from Delaware. All you guys. Redneck Mafia! Woo! Let's go wild! How's it looking from here? Oh, dude, it's awesome. I mean, we've had people... Like we haven't had people packed into the spots they're in since probably the big one we had a few years ago, back Good. in February. So it's the best turnout we've had in a while. Um, but on top of it, people are having fun. Dude, everybody's I mean, in like, a great mood. Like it's not, it wasn't too crazy last night. Everybody woke up and it's just, it's party mode right now. We have people out everywhere. Dude, we're chilling at Plant Bamboo. We got Mitchell and Brock rolling down from Ohio. We got people here this weekend from all over the place. Y'all having a good time? Dude, we're having a great time. There's side by sides, four wheelers, what, trucks everywhere. What great brought time. you down here though to South Florida this weekend, man? We always come down and try to find a different mud run every year. Yeah. I'm telling you what, we're having a great time. Pits everywhere. This place is packed. And the weather's having a great good. time. 85. Yeah. Having a great time. Brock, I just you stepped on time, your dude. Sorry about that. Brock, dude, how old are you? Twelve. Dude, rocking the shades. Hat turned backwards, looking good, 12 years old. I don't even want to know what you did to get these beads, but we're in South Florida, brother, so all bets are off. You just keep doing it, all right? All right, brother, rock on. One, one, 2018, baby! Mud fest! Let's do it! Make it nasty! to party with trucks gone wild. Yeah! Here at Plant Bamboo, it's Friday night. We got drinks. You don't have drinks. You need to get one though. But I, I know do. you got them around here. Oh, we got plenty. Of we got furniture all over the place, matching lamps, dude. For the first time ever, it's like mud hole rooms to go. It's like mud hole Haverty's hanging out. <laughs>
said, don't come at me with a half sin, and don't come at me with three quarters of a sin. I will accept nothing less than a full sin. But sometimes even the full sin isn't enough and you need a little bit more. So one of the things going on this weekend is you and a couple other guys are going to go across the water, right? Let's Skip across say, the top. I'm going to keep it straight. I took swimming lessons. What could go wrong? This does look very scientific. What do you got going on? Waterproofing. Yeah? Using my noodles. You can use those things for virtually anything. They're the greatest thing ever. Do you need more noodles or do you have enough? <laughs> I actually found these off some people. I told them I was looking for noodles and they had them in their truck. <laughs> Dennis doing hanging out, bro. Ah, five bitches! We've been doing this. Yeah. Uh, five, six, seven, eight years. I mean, I, it, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Always I can't count. It's yeah. just always a good time. The trucks are running. The rain yeah. is stopped. We got fans playing tonight, dude. I'm dying of thirst, though, brother. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, to all you, right, dude. all right. I don't right. know hey, where hey, the sun hey, is. Hey, this one's warm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I know. Man, that one ain't that. Your whole jacket, dude. Hold on, like a boost. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. Just hold on. You got to know. Here you go, bro. Listen, right I don't bro. want to take your last yeah. one, though. No, uh, no, no, no. Look, look. I'll put it back in the pool, bro. Oh, here's the thing. You're going back in the Listen, pool. Listen, you're always at 110%. But tonight, no, brother, no, 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 I no. you at 120. 110. Last night, I was at 72%. Mm -hmm. Tonight, That's I'm going 120. 120. 120. Straight up All 120 right, we're going tonight. 120 octane. Dude. We're going, you want, you want if, this, bro? If it's not at 120, it's not even worth doing, bro. All no. right. Thanks, no, dude. and I tell you, I, I tell you what. What? We're gonna try to be one twenty tonight. All right, stay tuned, bitches. We're going wild tonight. <laughs> Let's go! Ah!
Here's some of that drinks with the cameraman here. Oh, man, man, get your swallow, man. Ooh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Get you I got money where you're about to get your head, give a cold, mow, and so asshole. What the f is that? Rumble. Rumble. It tastes like you never had some? Oh, give me the camera. Well, you never had Rumble? 100 proof. Yeah, it's 100 proof. Turn the camera around on the cameraman. Alright, there you go. Hey, don't tell Ready? Matt. I'm not supposed to be doing this. We won't do this. Let's do it. You can do better than that. Thank you, Swallow, man. Give me good breath. You can do better than that. It's like a York pepper and patty. <laughs> Come on, you can do better. I did better than that. You don't kiss all. You don't kiss all damn mud cream tonight. Come on. Woo! <laughs> oh, that'll clean me up. <laughs> Dude, you needed this this weekend. Man, I, I really did. I had a lot going on in my personal life, my legs and stuff, my health. But uh, it was well worth the trip up here, man. It really was. You got it done. We had a side bet, too. You told me about a month or so ago, you said it's going to be a big turnout. And it's a big turnout, dude. So you were right. Hey, man. I, I mean, I don't, I predict these things. I predict I was coming up here. I was going to do a really good job. My truck ran great. Thanks to Gene and her. And uh, yeah, it's a win-win.
hell of a job, dude, right there, brother. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! yeah! Canada, there's always a bunch of firsts, like this, the first time ever in the history of Trucks Gone Wild, a limo in the bounty hole. Kyle, dude, you've been here every time we have. Yes. You know, and uh, people got to earn their things, and you earned that Thank right you there. Much. You did, you did. How was it? That was... Literally a dream come true. Yeah. I, I've been waiting, I've been seeing this on YouTube, I've been watching you for years, and this is something I've always wanted to do and always wanted to do, man. Yeah, this is all, everything I thought it was going to be, and my heart is just going to be crazy. <laughs> hey, the hospitality up here is a hand down, some of the finest. It's been a great trip. The old girl's still running. It's just been good all the way around. And, and to take you and, and what you're doing with all these other buggies that we got to watch, and we had never seen nothing like that this yeah. weekend. It was awesome. It's just been good all the way around, and it was great pleasure meeting y'all. And it was really good to take you for a ride. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was short, but it was sweet. I feel like four <laughs> seconds of awesome. <laughs> that was yeah. it. That was it. I really appreciate you guys coming down here. Thank you very much. Hey, dude. Every good. year, we appreciate it, bro. So Dustin, dude, they're working on stuff. I saw you in Walmart this morning, right? Yes. I was right behind you in line. How was the bacon? It was great. <laughs> we gotta cook it later on. All right, cool. And you have something? You have something for me, like a yes, like a welcome to oh, like a welcome to Canada, yeah. dude. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> What's going on back here? Get the truck fired up.
Labels out right there with the Skinny Lizard off-road. Clancy, brother, it's been two years, and it is so good to see you again, man. How are things going? Things are great. Yeah. Good to be back out here at Al's Place, dude. The truck looks a little different now than it did two years ago. Tell me about that. Yeah, we did some major upgrades. You know, the leaf springs in the 38-inch blocks just weren't cutting it. Right, right. <laughs> so we got some uh, four-link under there and some CNCs, and it uh, went from a 454 that couldn't even turn 18 fours to uh, 12 valve Cummins juiced up. So, what are your plans for the weekend with this thing, dude? Just ride around, show off, and have fun. Try and get laid. That's perfect. <laughs> That's. I know what that means, even in the states. What do you think so far? First time up in Canada. Well, these guys know how to party. They really do. Welcome to the state of Maine. Sorry, <laughs> I'm stoned. See? Yeah, See? that's good. You know, you work in being a patriot and loving this country yeah, and bro. drinking. Dude, I we like it. it. I was he like, hey, I like your spray paint smiley face on my chest. Right? For a set of beats. And yeah, it is that's what I had to be. Hey. Well, it looks awful happy either way. Yeah, yeah, right. hey, hey. yeah. I might have taken it a little too far. Carrie, what is it that you like about these trucks going wild events? The trucks and get it up! Champ right here! Right here! Hell yeah, brother! Give her a full man! Trucks on wild, that's it! So Tim, it was two years ago, right? We were hanging out like in the back corner with the Dirty 30 truck. It didn't look anything like this. Like there's been a lot of change. Right. Tell me something about three. Well, uh, two years ago, uh, truck was same height, only springs. Jumped the hell out of it here and broke everything. So two years later, that's what we got now. Dude, and you were killing it out there and it's holding up pretty good, right? Yep. Everything was so good. There was somebody was talking about you. It was yesterday night. It was late, so you know, it's a little yep, foggy. Right. So like, dude, he absolutely kills that thing and it's not breaking. I was like, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I, I don't know what I did right, but I did something right. Course. Perfect. And Dirty 30, the name. What's up with that? Well, it's a factory K30. So uh, had a buddy who talked a lot of crap. And Imagine. He just <laughs> called the Dirty 30 and it stuck five years ago, so. 
Well, dude, it rhymes. It, it looks is. good. It looks good on the side, and you're tearing it up, brother. Awesome. Nice job. Thank, Thank you. you. This is Hillbilly Heaven, dude, Team Boondocks Muddy. Jamie, you're kind of like the man behind all this, right? Yes. You got a lot of trucks here this weekend. What oh, yeah. are you guys up to? Well, we're here to party and get shit done and hopefully you don't break everything, make it to the mud. You know what I like, dude? You guys have a lot of trucks. I've seen a lot of American flags. I'm a big fan of that. Oh, yeah. You got the trucks going wild flag. Yeah. You got mounted animals. You got the buck. Yeah, dude, you got help, help wanted. wanted you know? hey, there's a lot of positions available for all the cricket. Got, speaking of crickets, right over there, you got the official mud cricket truck. Yep. I see Barbie up on top of the pole getting the party started. Yep. An inflatable unicorn. Oh, yeah. A Stripper keg. Pool. A keg with the Trucks Gone Wild sticker on it. Trucks Gone Wild on tap. Absolutely, dude. You got to have that. And then yep. you got the cutout of Barbie shooting the big guns. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't think you missed a thing. Um, uh, yeah, I did miss a couple things. You need a couple more girls on the back. Well, there's that. Live action. There's that. It's yeah. early yet, yeah, dude. There's early. time for that. It's hillbilly heaven. That's yeah. bound to happen. It's gonna happen. It is it gonna happen. happen. Trucks go wild. The wicked rough. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, you guys. Trucks go wild. Hey, we are the guys from Bavaria, Germany. It's the real first time that we used to do yes. The first time on Rock Gone Wild. We join it. It's the greatest party on earth. So rock on!
So you gotta look good at the mud hole. Everybody knows that. Yep. Your name's Lily? Uh huh. Right? And Chrissy? Yeah. Cool. Very nice. So, not a lot of people bring their own stylists, though. You know, you guys are definitely taking it to the next level. Yeah, what do we she got going? Stylist. She's got well, it all. you know, you gotta keep the hair nice because you don't want it to get naughty, muddy, gross. No. Uh, I got you don't. dry shampoo, conditioner, pre three leave in conditioner. Then the sunblock, right? And then it's sunblock. Yeah, you part. gotta sunblock the scalp. For all those girls out there, sunblock your scalp. God bless America! see a bear out here at Louisiana Mudfest yep. and I learned that it's you that brought it out. I'm not surprised. Yep. Where do you find this thing, dude? Oh, uh, you know, dude, I do a lot of auctions and I go and buy stupid crap and I just seen this and I just, I paid a hundred bucks for it and I just knew it'd get a lot of attention, a lot of uh, photographs. You pay a hundred dollars for a half a bear? Oh, uh, no, actually it was a full bear and it was about <laughs> nine feet tall and it was on this statue and I know somebody paid a lot of money for it to get its, uh, you know, stuff when it originally happened. Right. But 
I felt like it just had to be half a situation because it couldn't come fully fully dressed in the back of a leaky Continental. No, you can't. You no. can only bring a half a bear. So, knows that. so we took a chase off to him about 5 o'clock last <laughs> night and cut him in half. And here he is. <laughs> and we got him strapped down for a, a berry situation. Is a berry. <laughs> I can barely wait to see what's going to happen. Oh.
anywhere. We see that out in South Florida flying all over the place, breaking track records and running strong everywhere we go. And today was no exception. Wes Jr., tell me, how was the track out there today, dude? It looked wet. The track was wet. We, there were big jumps. It was hard to see in the uh, water. It just tried our best. And uh, the truck got a little wet, the motor did. And uh, we just went with what, what we had. Let me tell you something. Yeah, you went with what you had, and you won that deal out here today, so that's good. Talk about what you like to do in this truck, because we've seen it do everything. We've seen it do the tug of war on, on a Monday afternoon for the major news stations. We've seen all kinds of things. We've seen it in Hill and Hole, obstacle course, out here in the barrel racing. What's our, your favorite thing? Our tug of war is not our favorite. We're just <laughs> doing it. It was fun. First time doing tug of war with the truck. Definitely was smoking the tires off of it. Well, I definitely rather do obstacle course. I love jumping, love putting on a show for the crowd. And That's it's, what I'm here for. And it's easier on the tires, too. Oh, definitely easier on the tires. Hey, dude, nice job, brother, riding dirty. Take it out. Scott Griffin Jr. is the driver of the Mud Monkey 2. Scott, dude, how old are you? I'm 13 years old. 13 years old, man. We're talking about the future of mud racing, the future of Trucks Gone Wild. It's right here, and you were the winner of the Dirty Mike's Basic Bogger of the Year Award for 2017, right? Yes, sir. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, sir. A lot of recognition for a young man. Dude, you work, right? You're involved on this, involved in the building? Yes, sir. Involved in the paying the bills on it? Dude. So, as far as driving goes on this thing, man, what's your favorite thing? Straight line, jumping, what is it? I think I like jumping in the mud. Yeah? Yeah, it's fun. Cool, man. Any freestyle aspirations in the future or anything? Yeah, I, I want to do uh, freestyle in the future. Sounds good, brother. Congratulations on everything, dude. Love to see the youth getting involved in the sport, dude. I can't wait to see what you do in the future, brother. Nice job. Saturday morning out here at Twitty's Mud Bog in Omer, South Carolina, baby. The place is packed. You can see it behind me. We've got a beautiful Saturday afternoon. It's just about race time. Life is good in Twitty City.
and we got the best people anywhere. So you could not be in a better place than Quitty City right now. This is the ninth year of Trucks Gone Wild. Trucks Gone Wild's done a lot of things. Not only has it expanded the sport, but it's also brought a lot of people together. It's expanded the Mud family. It's literally a business model that has taken on its own identity and brought a whole lot of people together. Jordan has and would like to make a presentation from Twitty City a key. Oh. You get the key <laughs> to Twitty City right there. The first official key to the city. You get the very first official key to the city. No, don't do that. Thank you, Trust So Wild. Thank you yeah, for everything that, that y'all do.
Justin Anderson, teeny man, my little guy. He's coming for you guys. Y'all better be ready. What's up, it's D-Thrash. What's up, this is Des from the Georgia Boys. Yeah. We're here with Trucks Gone Wild. Let's get crazy out here like it always does. Yeah, we came to party. It's gonna get wild tonight.
this thing flip, it's not my truck. <laughs> so, I hit it to the floor, it came back down, and all worked out good. It was fun. Everybody's gonna be saying it was because of the Russians, right? Drive. Just throw your ring on America, right there in the trunk. And this is Team Boss Enough Racing, ladies and gentlemen. How many of you having fun? And there, you're the winner, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Alan, dude, Team E and H, you are the warehouse racing winner out here this afternoon. Congratulations, man. That thank was the you, biggest, that was biggest awesome. field we ever had, hey. right? Crazy. Was it fun? Oh, it was a blast. You dig it? I'd do it again right now. Let's go. Dude, very cool. How <laughs> cool is this going to be to have on the oh, this, this is the best. This can, this beats all money, trophies. This is it right here. It would probably and be a little better. When everybody walks in, they're going to see that. Right if there. it had an amount written there besides zero, but I mean, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, I don't so. know if the banks have cash out. Yeah, over. probably not. Probably not. But congratulations. Hey, job I appreciate well done. it. to the Trucks Gone Wild Hall of Fame, dude. You are the newest inductee right now, my friend.
So thank you so much and thanks for joining us tonight, dude. Man, it's been awesome. It's been great being out here tonight, seeing everybody, shaking everybody's hand. And you know, it's all about pain is the game. Tomorrow night I'll bring some pain to my game and I'll pay it back to everybody that comes out there. We'll give it our all Camping World Stadium. We can't wait to get out there and turn it up for you guys. Brother, I can't wait to have a cold beer and watch, dude. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate everything. Tom Metz, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you tomorrow night. The straps are good, let's get it. Crank the music back up, thank you guys.
Truck and I do one of my favorite places in the world, and one reason for that is you, because I love America, and I know you love America. I love America. Dude, it is my favorite. I think you love it more than me, simply because you're like more of a person than I am. Like you're a bigger man. <laughs> you know, it it takes a lot to get this big. As you can tell, I've started transforming myself into a flag. Yeah, you have. Yeah, flag. A, a, an American flag. Make sure you pronounce that right. And just you know, to avoid confusion. No, everybody knows I am now the most patriotic guy you will see at a mud bowl. You really are. <laughs> time bounty hole champion here at climax congratulations another great day thank you sir it was awesome enjoyed putting on the show it is so much fun to watch dude the way that it squats down in the back and just kind of walks what, what are you looking at dude clouds uh most of the time i that's why i gotta lean my head out i get a little mud side <laughs> going on I, i'm beating mary Kay. i've got these wonderful shades of gray <laughs> going on yeah. um but i have to lean out to see where i'm going <laughs> that is that's uh, being distinguished i think is, is what that is. that's what i'm going for anyway. my wife says that's experience it that's is a experience. distinguished it's good experience. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and today, for the first time, crushing cars with the big and sexy. Oh, too, dude, huh? that was awesome. Thanks to Dan Cobb for bringing cars out, man. This was awesome. I enjoyed crushing cars. I've had this truck built for two years and never got a chance to. 
this was great. Were they just not at places or whatever? Is it most? Work? Yeah, most places don't have it. Right, Even though right. we ask people, hey, pull your car up, we'll crush it. <laughs> yeah. And most people don't right. want to let us do that. No, no, I can under I, I kind of go why. on their side with that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. I've, I've told you before, and I'm not just saying it. It is one of my favorite trucks, and I say it all the time, and, I, and I've told you it's not an insult because it does. It looks like a big cartoon. It looks like a toy. It's my Hot I Wheels, love it. dude. It really is, dude. Well, I, when you buy a Hot Wheels car, how many of them? The tires are way too big for the car. Oh, the good I, I mean, ones. Man, that's that's my Hot Wheels. Yeah. Okay. But it's the short wheelbase. It works. Everybody had to do a four door. I wanted something short just to be the oddball. in the bike shot. I didn't want to get run over. I know, but I was trying to film these guys running nobody over. And your boob went. Pink and purple Zenka in a backpack. Oh my god, it's a drunk of my I had a hat specially made. And I am the worst mother in the world. Say it's a drunk o -matic. Do you? It's a drunk o -matic 2000. That's all I needed. Do you need a costume? She's not a Ghostbuster. She's a hey, 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 Oh, this hey, is going to be Halloween. This is the purple drink for you. Anybody? Give it to Matt. Don't Matt drink the try. purple. Yeah, hey, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Jello over there. <laughs> yeah. You get wide a much bigger shirt. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that, that girl's like that girl's younger than you. <laughs> he, he gave her the Jello shots. Yeah. Why are you giving the girl Jello shots? Girl shots? <laughs> We're making a little documentary for you. Why? You want to go make a rain on them? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so every year when we're thinking about coming to Louisiana Mud Fest, we say we can barely wait to get there, you know? At times though, at night, people can, if they have a little bit too much, they can be a little grisly. But I'll tell you this, dude, the party is never tame. If I can be serious for a second, I gotta tell you, the party out here at Louisiana Mud Fest is buzzing. Yow! You dirty! You dirty! Good friendly crowd here, yeah, family safe, yeah. Uh, hey. Love you, Tony! Hey, what Love you, Tony! Tony. <laughs> At least they adapted. It's pretty cool. I didn't expect that. So where y'all from? I didn't get it work. Sorry. All right. So where y'all showering at tonight? Over there. Where the ATVs showering? Not at our camp. Hey. So one time I thought about bitching, but I didn't know how to do it. Skipping your butt. Dude. All right. Do it again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So hey, stand up. That was good. Okay. Hey. So this one time, I thought about bitching, but I didn't really know how to do it. Move your finger, left finger, son. Okay. Coming up to you. Yeah, but this isn't bad, dude. I mean, there were two trucks in the class. Well, you yeah. got second place, so that's pretty <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I just can't stand celebrating mediocrity. <laughs> you know? Well, you are the uh, you're the cock of the walk. Dude. I am the cock uh, that did the walking. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> There's that. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> And the last time we talked, we had amperage. What amperage are we gonna go? I ain't gonna lie, I think this weekend we hit 200. Yeah? Really? And you're really? only required to go to 10. And you hit 200, that's good. Well, I got a good support group. Got a good support group. Yeah. Thank you, Bud Light. <laughs> you my support group, Bud Light. <laughs> Just eat now, can't read that. 
Alright, oh. see that came all the way from Florida. You're gonna have a Michelob Blake because you can't get them in Florida. You know what, dude? I'll have that. Alright. And I'm not allowed to have a beer unless you give it to me on camera. Hey. That's like a new contract. Perfect. The TGW guys working for a bunch of douchebags. I like that. <laughs> Eagle, I mean, what's not? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that good, huh? Oh, perfect. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Bob, are you the boss of the sticks? I, uh, I might be the boss of like myself. <laughs> are you gonna put cocaine in my ass? I'm gonna stop it right in there with my thumb. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of prizes. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> you got the prizes! <laughs> Alright, you ready? And... Diva. Hey, you never know who you're gonna run into out here. <laughs> Cage Jody. Imagine these two hanging out. Who'd have thunk it?